to sort of get across, and I think we all, we're all sort of chewing it now. We're all sort of singing on the same music. But first of all, I want to say thanks to everybody who's turned up. Um, people have come from London, from Huddersfield, from Darlington, from Newcastle. They come from all over the place. So thanks again. Um, and I just want to say. So I want to say thank you. So why are we here? So somebody give me somebody give me a reason why we're here. Not to do this afternoon. Not to do this afternoon. The board. Why, why are we here? It's corrupt the male abusers. Right. Okay. So that's what we've got. Corrupt government. What else have we got? Who the files the government? Yeah. Okay. We'll speak to you about that afterwards. Weather modifications. Meaning of the sunshine. We're here. Because we care, yeah? Not only do we care about ourselves, but we care about each other and the problems that we're facing as a species. Not just as individuals, but we're a species and we're a collective. And the quicker people get that, the quicker we can start to sort this shit out that we're in. And we are, part of my German kids, we're in, the, we're in a world of shit and it's gonna get worse unless people start standing up and taking back <coughs> and realizing what, what Problems that we face, we've got a lot of problems, as we all know. So what I'm going to do is touch on a couple of them, and then I'm going to leave you guys to have a think about it. I put pen and paper out, so if you've got any ideas again or any questions, jot them down, and we'll, we'll speak about them at the end. Have you got any more pens, Bunchers? <laughs> there should be loads of them dotted around. I've got a bought... Found paper, but no. Is that anybody got any pens? Anybody brought a spare pen? There we go. Right. Problems that we face. One of the biggest ones, and this is one of the, the major ones for me, we all know what's going on in the sky, don't we? Geoengineering. Yeah. Geoengineering in, in its finest form. In broad daylight, in front of everybody, and still 85% of people can't see what's going on. I mean, what, what is going on? Apparently, I the BBC, 72% of us don't mind them doing it. Oh, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> Is that, is that out of the 5% of people that they asked? The 72%? Probably, yeah, they didn't ask me. Yeah. Probably, yeah. Probably, yeah. Okay, so we know that they're messing about with the atmosphere. We know that they're pumping toxins left, right, and centre. <coughs> we've, we've got barium, we've got aluminium, we've got strontium, sulphates. The list goes on. Yeah, there's multiple reasons for chemtrails, as we know. Weather manipulation, one of them, and obviously toxification of the human species is another as well, okay? So we know that that's happening. This shit needs to stop, unfortunately. Another big one, a lot of people don't realise, but we are getting bombarded by microwaves. No matter where you walk in this country, you walk down the street, unless you're rural, if you're out in the country, fine, you're not getting it. But you can't walk down any street in the UK without getting bombarded by microwave radiation, okay? It's not good, people. It's, it's, it is bad. Now, not only do they know it's bad, they know that they can change the frequencies to make it so it's not harmful to us, but they were and they're not, okay? So that's another thing that's a major concern, especially for me. We all know what's happening there, don't we? <laughs> and in the toothpaste. Men in the water in the, and, and in the water now, in the, in the bottled water, they put fluoride in there as well. Which the first thing everybody does when they wake up is put a blob in the mouth, in the most sensitive part of the body. It's in the, the teeth. First thing in the morning. Absolutely. The and they know this. You can actually buy um, fluoride free toothpaste. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you can get it online. There's a place near my shop. Holland and Barrett. Holland and Barrett. Yeah. You, you've got to be careful with Holland and Barrett, though. Yeah. You've got to be a bit, a bit dubious yeah. with those guys. Definitely. Because uh, the stuff that is called top. Buy the carb in the store. Buy carb, it works with us. Is that better? Right, I do apologise. Do you want to come a bit closer? Alright, <laughs> ah, okay. That's a good one. Right, so we know about the fluoride and the chloride in the water. Has anybody ever smelt the chloride in the water? Yes. Yeah. yeah. 
I've got a reverse osmosis water system, and if you hold it, you can see, you can smell you see it. the difference. You can well, all you have to do is turn it up, and you can smell it. It's like being in the swimming bath sometimes. It's, it's ridiculous. Apparently, Yorkshire water is open. Yeah, apparently they do, but we know that they do. We know that they do. And they tell you all the fun that they do now. They do. Right. Well, what, we all know what they say and what they do are five different things. My friend, he keeps marine fish and with tap water will die, so he has to clean it. It's also got a windowless uh, window cleaning business, a ladderless window cleaning business. Yeah. And again, they've got to clean the water or the windows won't stay clean. That were enough for me to get a reverse osmosis water system because right. it kills fish and stays dirty on windows. I'm not drinking that. There you go. So we know what's happening there, yeah. So water filters are uh, the best way forward. And obviously alkalizing water, distilling water, there's loads of ways that we can get this out of the system while we're coming out of the water, which we're going to touch on shortly. Another one. Can you hear me at the back? GMOs. We all know what GMOs are. You cannot go, in fact, when you look in the supermarkets now, the organic ranges are getting smaller and smaller and smaller. You used to go to Asda, they used to have a decent organic range, and it has to be organic because it gets tested. Certain things they can't get away with. But, it's getting smaller and smaller and smaller. You can guarantee that most of the stuff that you're looking at in the supermarkets is GMO. I've done a little experiment there, man. I wish I'd have brought them. I've had some tomatoes in the fridge now for three months. And they're still rock solid. As the, it's like, really? These are tomatoes that should have lasted maybe half a dozen days, six, seven days. They're rock solid still. You wouldn't even be able to tell. And then they're three months old. You know, so we know it's happening. Yeah. But, Absolutely. But people, it's hard to get your head around because people know what's happening but they're still wanting to stick their head in the sand. And that that's the hardest that thing. Fresh to... milk that lasts for a week. When I were a kid, fresh milk, a pint, you've left it on the side, you've gone for the morning, the free, last three days of fridge. Yeah. Fresh milk lasts for four weeks. Really? Five weeks even. Really? So we know what's happening with the GMOs, <laughs> yeah, and it's all about attacking the human, the human body, the human the spirit, the, the actual. As, as, as health, that's what it's about, and that's what these people do. Give us a section in. Oh, um, I have a friend who works for Monsanto. Their um, oh. aim is um, to make 95% of the fruit and veg that we eat in the world, that is, uh, GMO by 2020. So that's by 2020, 95%. TT, 95%. So you guys, and I, would say, I would say that probably about 80% of the planet is covered with GMOs anyway. Yeah, I mean, there's certain countries that have banned Monsanto, um, but they'll always get in through the back door, and that's what they that's what they always do. So we know what's going on with the GMOs. Yeah, there's a lot of people that stand up for that GMO science, and that's one of the problems, because there are so many large people that people stand up for GMO. Absolutely. And that's not going to be a funding point. You see, it's down to the... For me, it's down to the way that people are taught. And if they're taught that something's good, they're going to believe that that something's good. You know, so it is, it's all about the educating and educating people in the right way, as opposed to sort of saying tablets are good for you. We know that since all tablets come from natural things. They're just synthesized into a plastic form so you can eat it as a tablet. But the idea came from the planet, you know. So, <clears throat> you know, you can speak to a doctor and say, oh, well, we'll give you this tablet and yes, it'll work. But where's the natural alternative? Because you've taken it from something, and that's what we need to get back to, you know. So again, we know what's happening with the petrochemicals and the spraying crap on the food. Um, it's hard to get off, you know. This stuff gets into your food, it gets into the ground. Yeah, it gets into the water supplies. You know, it's, I had um, a conversation with somebody and they were telling me about, oh no, we, we grow, everything's organic, but it's next to property on a hill, which is owned by Tesco's. But they're, where they're growing their food is organic, but it's not, because it's still getting polluted from all the toxins that are getting sprayed on the Tesco crops. So that's, that's another thing that's a, a major concern, I think. Um, this is a big one. Suppression of natural remedies. Now there's people in here, I'm not going to mention people, that have had cancer and cured themselves naturally. Yep. Yeah. And this is one of the biggest lies.
<coughs> so yeah, we know that the, the, the pharmaceutical industry are in bed with the food companies. They're owned by the same hand. So it's a, it's a, it's a common sense thing really, and if you think about it, you own the food industry, you own the drug industry. You, what, what's your one and only main goal is to earn money, profit. So you're going to prop up one with the other. You're going to toxify one so the other can benefit. And that's what's happening, unfortunately. So we know that the pharmaceutical companies are not creating cures, they're creating customers. And that's what they want. And once they've got the hooks into you, the tablets that they're giving you are, are causing that many different effects elsewhere within your body that you're going to need more tablets and you're going to need more tablets and you become a cash cow to these people. So again, this kind of stuff needs to be brought to the forefront and people need to be made aware of this. They've got the cure for cancer. You can cure diabetes using cinnamon, you, you know. Can, cancer's an outcome. It's an outcome of your lifestyle. So well, it, it's, a fungus, it's, it's a fungus, it's a fungus. Yeah. But we'll, we'll go, you know, we don't, we don't want to go too much depth, Dave, I understand what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, um, but the, you know, some, some, something as simple as a handful of blueberries will sort your blood pressure out. But they will, they'll give you tablets, which will cause you gout in your foot, for example, and then you need more tablets for your gout for your foot, then that'll give you muscle rotting problems or, or joint problems, and you need tablets for that, and then you become a fortune to these people, okay? You know, it's the flu jab. I mean, for Christ's sake, they're putting chicken embryo cells in the flu jab. I mean, tell me, tell me what, what purpose that has in a human body, okay? So Big Pharma is it, 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 pure evil, unfortunately, and they know what they're doing. So they're creating customers, they're not creating cures. We know what's happening here, don't we? Food banks, I mean, we've not had food banks since the last war. I mean, what's going on there? You've got our friends in Westminster, I'll say our friends, I'll put that politely, that are giving themselves pay rises and taking money off people that need it. And I mean, you see Benefit Street and you see what's happening with the war on the pot, they're demonising these people. Now, these people for me are people that have not had the, the chance in life, they've not had the education, they've not been pointed in the right direction, and they're demonising them. And you hear people all the time talking about oh, scrubbers and scroungers, hang on a minute, Queen Elizabeth's the biggest benefit person, Ponce, in this country. You know, so and they need showing what's good for them or what's right, and they need people to come on and say, right, listen, this is a different way. You know, instead of we're not bothered, we're going to demonise you, we're going to put you in scholar, and we're going to take everything off you. What they want to do is they want to pull out of the council houses so they can give all the council houses back to the workers. So that's what they're pushing for. Yeah, which is again, <coughs> it's not right. People are people. You know, and the powers that be. There's a massive. You know, I mean, it's like really. Fifty thousand years, fifty thousand pounds, Mister Cameron, for your back garden. I mean, what? What's that all about? Come on. Yeah. It, uh, oh, two gardens. So he claims fifty thousand pounds of our money to do his garden, and then he goes on and attacks people. Okay. So war on the poor is another big thing, which is wrong. We all know what's happening there, don't we? I don't know if anybody knows anybody that's got vaccine damage, children, or anybody that's suffered vaccine damage. I do, and it's not pleasant, but you can do things, you can detoxify yourself, you can get these metals and you can get these substances out of your body, okay? Which we're going to touch on, not this time, but at, at, at a later day. But there's an act, I believe, that drug companies cannot be held accountable for vaccine damage. So it says it all in the act, doesn't it? You know? And remember that the man that's been working on it for 20 years was found floating face down in the lake last week. Right, I can imagine. He had the evidence to say that it caused autism. <coughs> and he's it, it's gone. Then he was going to release the thing in the last week. Uh, and now he's dead. Yeah, which is a common theme with these people. Five you know, dead and five minutes. Yeah. Watch yeah. 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 So we know that, I mean, I've got a little baby girl and she's, you know, we, we were discussing, but we had major problems with getting her vaccinated. And you can imagine the arguments that happened. Um, Somebody went and got vaccinated behind my back, which was a little bit. But then again, that person, she didn't know that, you know, even though you can sit there and tell people, they'll still do what some stranger who doesn't care about them, that doesn't know them, tells them to do. Even though your loved ones and your family and friends are saying, don't do it, don't do it. You know, so this is, this is one of the major problems that, that we are up against as well. It's cognitive dissonance. It doesn't matter how you look at it. How can you trust a man in a white coat that you've never met before? that really don't care that's getting kicked back from the drug companies. 
Because that's what doctors do, they get kickbacks from the drug companies. They prescribe medicine, they're not trained to yep. naturally cure you. I spoke to my GP many years ago and I said, how much, how much research have you done on nutritional value studying? He went, what do you mean? I said, well, you, you studied to become a doctor for three years. I said, what have you done? He said, well, we didn't. Hang, hang on a second. Just, 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 you must have done summer. No, we didn't do anything. I think we talked about it for about half an hour one day. And that's what GP, and these are the people that are supposed to be in charge of our health. Yeah. So, you know, I think the, old, the Chinese used to use a method whereby they pay a doctor if he was well, and if he became ill, they stopped paying the doctor. <laughs> I mean, is that not the way it should be? You know, so, again, vaccine damage and no accountability for the drug companies. We know that one is, don't we? And we know what happened to him, don't we? They've got the energy, they've got the technology to release free energy, but you can't put a meter on it. Okay, and that's why they shut him down, and that's why all his, all his research and all his data and all his information has been suppressed, because you can't put a meter on it. And incidentally, it was JP Morgan that were financing this man, JP Morgan, the old baron. Okay, that's why they shut him down. The technology's out there, there is people working on it, and it, it is going to start coming out slowly but surely, because more and more people are, are learning about it. So it is going to come out, and it's going to come out in abundance over the next couple of years. Okay, so we know that Tesla, we know what he did, and we know that the man was a genius, but they wiped him out of the history books because they don't want us to know what he produced and what he brought for mankind. Because if we knew what, what, what he brought for us, we'd be using it. The old business will get shut down straight away tomorrow. Okay, if his technologies and his, um, his ideas and his inventions got released. Okay, so again, suppression of of free energy. I mean, you look at it this way, you've got people now that have to choose between paying the bills and feeding themselves. I mean, pardon my French for the kids, but what the fuck is that all about? It's, it's summertime now and it's, it's clouded over and, and you haven't put your central heating on because you've done your washing in the morning and then it's raining in the afternoon. You Absolutely. Outside and you're putting your central heating on because um, of the trip making people use energy in summer to make money. Right, so again, <laughs> we've got the technology there, people. Yeah, so it's just a question of let's empower people, let's get it out there, which is going to be happening. Orchestrated induction of a fair based society. Everything you see on TV is negative. I don't care what it is. You don't see anything positive, you don't see anything about good things that are happening in the world. It's all negativity. Everything down from EastEnders to, to well, the news. I, I have not even watched the news for that long. It's like. When I watch the news, I want to go cry. Yeah, because I feel the pain. And, 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 it, and you can see it for what it is. You just sit there and think you're just talking out your backside, pal. And you're not even doing it convincingly. Yeah. Where 10 years ago, I believe you, because the music could come on and it put you into that trance state and you'd be sort of hypnotised to a degree and you believe them. Okay? So we know that, that it, it is controlled and we know that it's manipulated and it's orchestrated to keep us all in fear so we don't realise its true potential. So we're always scared and if we're in fear we're easy to control. Okay? So it is orchestrated. Anything down from ISIS, yeah, so mind control MK Ultra style. Okay? So it, it is, it says uh, fear of all, fear, fear today, feed, fear each other. How many people know their neighbours? I do. You do? Brilliant. I'm glad somebody said that. Yeah. <laughs> love them all, love them, but you know them. Okay. How many people can you walk down the street and people don't even know their next door neighbours? Just loads. Yeah. Now, when I moved into my house, I made it purpose. Uh, I made it my mission. I go speak to my next door neighbours and introduce myself. Yeah. I took them some cakes round. Bought them from Tesco's. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but you've got fear, ISIS. Fear your own shadow. These people want you to be scared of looking at yourself in the mirror. Yeah, they don't want people empowered. So it's all orchestrated to keep everybody in fear. Yeah, I won't go too deep, but the one in your root chakra. If, if, if people know what I'm talking about there, they'll know what I mean. Okay, so again, everything that these people are doing, it's affecting us as people. Not only mentally, but physically as well. Okay. Again, mentally weak and physically weak. Yeah, from lack of nutrients in his food, to stresses on his brains that we don't even need to worry about. You know, I mean, you've got people, people hanging themselves because they can't pay the bills, or they have to go to court because they've not paid the council tax. And they feel that stressed and they kill themselves. I mean, it's really, first of all, 
the councils of corporations. Yeah, so what God given right have they got to take money off you to live on this planet? Anyway, is beyond me. You know, so it is we're living in a, we're living in it's scary times we're living in, but it's interesting times as well. And things are gonna change for the better. But for me, everything that they're doing, they're attacking the body and the mind. <laughs> so we need to it's the air, the water and the food is what they're attacking. So if we can start to look at getting those things sorted out, we're gonna get ourselves stronger physically, stronger mentally, and then we can move forward on this. Yeah, so I just wanted to put that together because that's quite a few of the concerns of mine. Some people have seen some of the videos I put out there um, and I do kick off on some of them. Some of them are quite pleasant, but they're the major concerns because if you haven't got your health, what's the point? Yeah, and I don't think that we want our children and our children's children to grow up into the world that we can see is happening. We ain't, we ain't got what we ain't got. We ain't got media. We ain't got exposure and we ain't got money. But what we have got is a desire. Yeah, we've all got passion and we all care about each other enough to do something. And the only way that we can, for me, try and make a difference is to start a grassroots movement. And that's the only way we're going to do it. Yeah. So, on the back of this, we're going to grow real change leads and we're going to keep growing it and growing it and then when we get to a certain capacity it can take over, we're going to go to different cities and we're going to try and roll this out for the UK. So, everybody that's here today, again, thanks for coming. I'm bowled over and I am. I think it's excellent that you've got people from all over the country that have turned up, yeah, that want to make a difference. Yeah, so the people that are here are the people that are going to make a difference, you know. And it's like the old advert, Aldi advert, they tell their friends and they tell their friends and let's whip this up and let's get people all over the country talking about making a real change as opposed to uh, sod it, stick on extra street or we can't do it, little old me because that's what they want and what we need to do is we need to step out of that little old me shadow and say no 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 we're in control we're taking back what's ours yeah and you look a fuck right off and that's what we need to do There is, there is, absolutely, there is. There is, and I think a lot of people need to, uh, I mean, there's, there's a lot of groups and a lot of factions